Hey guys, it's Sala. So today's video is going to be my March favorite slash haul, which is way overdue because I've gotten these things like weeks before. Like I went to Ulta like two weeks ago. I ordered stuff online weeks ago and like this is just way overdue, but I finally got the time to film this video for you guys. And yeah, let's get right into it because I have a whole bunch of stuff. So starting off with my haul, this stuff is from Lime Crime, Ulta, um, Sephora, um, Lush, and I think that might be it. So the first thing that I want to talk about to you guys is the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette, which a lot of you, I'm pretty sure, are well known with this palette. Um, I got it when it first came out on the website and it sold out really quickly. It sold out within like 10 minutes or 15, I believe. Um, and as you can tell, I've used a lot of the colors. I've played around a lot with it and it has to be one of my favorite palettes thus far. Um, it has a lot of warm tone colors. There's a couple dark colors and there's, um, and there's a couple shimmery colors. So there's a good amount between shimmery and matte colors. And you have like your oranges, you have your golds, you have your browns, a little bit of red, and some pinks up here. So if you are not into those colors, you know, I would not recommend this palette for you. But I feel like you can create so many looks with this palette. I did two looks with this palette on my channel. Um, I'll leave the links to both of those videos in the description box if you're interested. They are super pigmented and they're super blendable and easy to work with, which is what I love. Um, picking up this, buying this palette, I knew that they were going to be pigmented, but when I first per like especially this one, this one at the bottom, Wine and Dine, when I first put that on, I put on quite a bit because I was like, oh, you know, it's not going to be too pigmented. Oh boy, was I wrong. That was super bright. I had to tone it down with a transition color, but I loved it. They're such great colors and obviously one of my favorite um, palettes, like I said. So moving on from that, I'm going to go into some goodies that I got from Ulta. This is a setting spray slash hydrating spray, whatever you want to call it. So it is the Mario Badesco Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe. Alo, 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 I never know how to pronounce that word. Herbs and rose water. So this is what it looks like. Um, and you know what? It's so hard for me to believe. When I first saw this, I had gotten the like smaller size, which is right here. I picked the little smaller size up not that long ago. And this was only five bucks, which I was like, wow, that's such a good deal. And this actually lasted me quite a bit. It lasted me like two months, I believe. And so I went in and got another one, and this one was 10 bucks. So I mean, it's pretty bigger than the other, than the smaller bottle, but this was only 10 bucks, and I think that's so affordable. The thing that I like about this setting spray, um, it's super hydrating, and it smells, I mean, it smells like roses and herbs, so if you don't like that smell, then you're not going to like this, but it doesn't bother me. Um, super hydrating, and it really makes my skin, it kind of makes my skin tacky, almost kind of like a primer. So it makes my makeup go on a lot smoother and nicer, which is what I love about it. Um, but yeah, if you haven't tried this out, I highly recommend it. And especially if you're trying to find something affordable, this is it. The next one I would talk about is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which I have been dying to try because I've heard such good reviews about it. And it's so cool because on the lid it gives you a little tip which just basically says um, to keep it in the refrigerator for just like a nice cool little mist. And I've used this already like I'd say like six times and each time I use it I spray like five times. I mean that might be a little excessive but I just like to go all over my face with it. And for that little bit of product to be gone from what I used it, I'm kind of surprised. I would expect it to be like down here. Like down here. So. I mean, so far it's lasted me pretty well. I just purchased this purchased this like two weeks ago and it's held up pretty good. Um, the thing I like about it is the smell. It smells, I don't, I don't even know how to describe the smell, but it just smells phenomenal. Um, it says that it's supposed to prime by misting to create our sheerest canvas for makeups, hydrate skin for hours, and revitalize complexion to boost radiance. And it definitely does do all that stuff. It makes my face super radiant. It makes my face stay hydrated all day long and definitely makes my makeup stay on way longer. So if you don't use a setting spray, 
to put on before or after your makeup you really need to I feel like that's such a key point to your makeup because for setting it sets your face in place for it to not move all day long and beforehand it just gets your face ready and prepped and primed basically for application so definitely worth getting a setting spray or whatever if you don't have one all right the next thing i want to talk about from ulta is the tarte high performance empowered hybrid gel foundation the double duty foundation basically this is what the package looks like and then if I open it up, which I think I got too light of a sh too light of a color, but whatever. I can mix it with a darker foundation to make my skin tone. And if you guys see that like my chest is red, um, I tanned today and I kind of got sunburnt or burnt. So you know, just putting that out there so you guys are like, oh my god, your freaking chest is like different color. Um, so if you open up, this is what it looks like. And I've already used this twice and I really like it um not only is it just you know when you think of foundation you think about putting like crap onto your face this is not foundation isn't good for your skin but you know this is actually supposed to help your skin and this definitely smells like foundation <laughs> but the good thing about this foundation is that what I was reading it online because I was like what makes this foundation so much you know so much different than others and um i actually found out a lot of things so i'm gonna read them to you um it helps smooth surface imperfections while promoting water retination and hydration um it has high hyaluronic acid which is a naturally occurring ingredient in the human body which delivers moisture firmness and supple suppleness um it's barely extract so it helps restore the lipid barrier to smooth over fine lines and wrinkles, and it has vitamin C. So this is supposed to help your skin um, at the same time that you're wearing it. So I thought that was really cool. And um, it's super hydrating. Um, I feel like this and the Rainforest of the Sea collection, like their, the foundation, the concealer, they're super hydrating. And... I don't know, I just really liked these this foundation and then the Rainforest of the Sea, which I will be talking about in a second. Um, it has, I would say, a medium coverage. Um, you definitely, I mean, you can build it up, but I don't like, I feel like if I use too much of this product, it kind of, it'll feel kind of cakey to me. But, especially because my face has been super dry lately. But if you moisturize your face right and you, you know, you have a dewy face or whatever, you know, you can definitely build this up to a higher coverage. Enough of that one. Let's move on to Rainforest of the Sea foundation. My holy grail. Oh my god, you guys. I cannot... <sighs> Where has this been my entire life? This is the most amazing foundation I have ever tried, I think. So, maybe maybe I'm going a little overboard. <laughs> um, so, if you guys follow me and you follow my tutorials, you know that I've been using the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick, which I love. This has such good high coverage, leaves your face super flawless. And with the Tarte of the Rainforest of the Sea, it says it has high coverage. Um, it doesn't have such as high coverage as the um, Make Makeup Forever HD foundation stick, which I'm so used to. So what I'll do is I'll put this on first and then I'll put the other one on top. But I tend to do that with all of my foundations. Whatever foundation I put, I'll put the HD over it just to give me more of a higher coverage. Just because I've been breaking out a lot and I have a really bad like spots on my neck and stuff. So that's just me, but you can definitely build this up. And if you don't have as many imperfections, it's definitely going to look super um, flawless. So um, it is a water foundation. It does have an SPF of 15 and it says to shake well before you use it. I got the color light sand and I just love the little packaging, just the gold and purple and, um, and then it has like a little dropper, which I really like. So this foundation for me, when I put it on, it makes it seem like I'm not even wearing foundation. I don't feel like I have anything on my face when I put this on and it's so hydrating. Um, like I said, my face has been dry. So for this to be hydrating my face, I love it. And that's kind of why I've been wearing this a lot lately. Um, this retails for about 39 bucks, which is affordable to me. Um, other foundations are super expensive and like I said, the Rainforest of the Sea collection, I absolutely love. Like, I haven't gotten, like, 
the highlighters or like the skincare or any of that, but I definitely want to try all of it out. Um, I thought I would just start somewhere, so the foundation was definitely one of the first things that I got. And like I said, if you guys haven't tried it out, definitely try it out. If I were to tell you guys which one I prefer, I would definitely say Rave Wars or the C foundation over the Double Duty Beauty um, foundation. Sorry, not sorry. Next is the Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer and another holy grail. So I've tried a lot of concealers and I've actually tried a lot of concealers from Tarte. I really like the Tarte foundations. They're one of my favorites. Um, and I've been currently using the, actually I've been using the Naked Urban Decay, the Urban Decay Naked Skin and my LA Girl Concealer mixed together. Those are like my go-to. But I have tried their concealers before and so I had to pick this one up too just because I like it. And of course it has the same little packaging, the purple and gold. It looks like that. And I got the light shade. And so it gives you a little applicator which I think is super cool and super neat and of course essential. So you can just put it on your face that way or you can just put it on your beauty blender or your brush, whatever. I have a little bit of darkness under my eyes and it definitely covers that. Um, and you know, sometimes with um, concealers, I have to go over it twice just to make sure that you know everything's hit. But this, but with this one, I only have to apply it once, and everything is super perfected, super flawless. And of course, like I said, from like I said with the foundation, this one is also super hydrating, and this one also doesn't even feel like I have anything on my face. So I really like that about their collection. Um, that's just my skin and how I feel it on my skin. It might be different on other people's, but like I said, a moisturizer, setting spray, hydrating your face, that all goes into pl play when you're applying foundation or concealer or whatever it is. So the next thing I got from Ulta is the NYX Glitter Primer. I, I don't know why I purchased glitters and then I tried to put them on and they didn't stay on and for some reason I was just like, huh, and I was like, of course I didn't get a glitter primer. And this one is really affordable, this is only 5 bucks. I was going to try the glitter insurance primer from Too Faced I believe, but and that one was like 20 bucks. so I was like, you know what, NYX is a pretty good company, you know, um, you know, their liquid lipsticks are pretty good and stuff, so let me try theirs out. If not, then I'll just go with the Too Faced one, but this has worked really well, I like it, you know, it does the job, so, yeah. And the two glitters that I got from NYX are the one in 04 and 08. So this one is a coppery one. And then this one is a more, I thought this was like a, a dark brown because it looks like dark brown to me. But when I opened it up, it was just gold, which I mean, I don't mind, but I already had a gold one. So I was kind of bummed out, but you know, I can use that as a backup whenever I run out of the other one. All right, the next thing that I got is the Nude Beauty Blender. So, you know, their little packaging, of course. And this is what it looks like. I haven't used this one yet, and I um, seriously don't want to use it just because I don't want to get it dirty. But, but I really liked the color, and of course, you know, love my nudes. I also got a red one because I've been wanting a red one for a while now. And I'm really disappointed because I only used it like once or twice, and then I washed it. And now look at it. That looks orange to me. That looks like the pink one, honestly. Um, the color faded so easily. Like the, that first time that I washed it, literally all of the red just came out. And you know, I know that beauty blenders lose their color because my pink ones, like, you know, when I first get them, they're like super hot pink. And then throughout, you know, um, the weeks and months, you know, they'll fade into like a really light pink. But the first time that I washed this, you know, all the color faded. So I was really bummed out about that, but I still use it, still works, still does the job. So now I'm gonna go into all of the liquid lipsticks that I've got. So first going into my favorite, which is Jeffree Star Dirty Money. And I've been wanting this forever. My boyfriend got it for me for our 15, for 15, for our four year anniversary, which is coming up. He got it early, but I love this color. You know, I'm. I'm always into weird different colors. I'm not, I don't stick with, you know, n like neutrals or basic colors. I like stepping out of the box. So I really liked this one. I've worn it once already, but I really like it. Um, I've never tried Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. The formula is absolutely great. It stays on, it doesn't feel super drying. So I really liked it and I love the color. So yeah. The other ones that I got are all from Ulta, and they're the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. I got six colors, so 
you know, when I went into Ulta and I was looking at the colors, I felt like a lot of them all looked the same. And I was like, hmm, interesting. And I was really skeptical to buy some of the brown ones because, like I said, they all looked the same. This one is called Honeymoon. And it's like a super light brown color, which I really like. I've already worn this one. I really like this one. So this is what that one looks like. And then the next one I got is Teddy. This is also a brown, but this is a darker brown. And then the other brown that I got is Beauty Mark. And regardless that they all look the same in the bottle, they all ha they all have um, different shades of brown, as you can see on my hand. And then the next one I got is called Exotic. Which is like a red-orangey color. There's that one right there. And then... Lace Detail, which is a pinky nude. I love my pinky nudes. Right here. And then the last one I got is a baby doll. And this is like more of a light pink nude. That one. So the other one's more like a just nude, a natural nude, and this one's more of a pinky nude. And then I also got one of the tartiest lip paint. I got the Namasati one. And this one is a pink. Um, like a nude, a nude pink. Another one. Um, so when I first put this one on the very first time, it didn't dry. It was still kind of like... Because when you put this on, it's just really different from anything I've ever put on my lips. It's super like silky, um, velvety almost on your lips. And so when I first put this on, it didn't dry up. It just felt kind of like a regular lipstick. So I was like, you know, maybe it is just a regular lipstick. But the second time I put it on, it dried up. So, you know, maybe it takes longer to dry up or, you know, maybe I just kept like going like that to my lips. So just putting that out there, you know, take it takes a little bit to dry. So just, you know, kind of let it dry or just kind of fan over your lips just to help it. The, so the last liquid lipsticks I got are these three and this is the True, Slo True Love set from Lime Crime. Um, I really liked all of the colors. Now they sell them individually so if you like just one of the colors or two or you don't want to buy the whole thing, they sell them individually now but at the time they had sell sold them in the in the set and which I mean I didn't mind because I liked all the colors. And so this one is called True Love. And I love this one because it's like a red but a pink. It's like a it's like coral almost. And it's super pretty when you put it on your lips. Really brings out your face. And I really like it with my skin tone. I'm pretty sure it look pretty on like tan skin tones and like darker skin tones. And then the other one is called Cupid and this is a pink. And it's a perfect pink. It's not too light but it's not too bright. So, definitely like it. And the last one is called Saint. And this is like a dark mauve color, almost like a mixture between a red and a brown. So that is Saint. And the formula of these liquid lipsticks is really up there. I mean, Jeffree Star has to be one of my favorites right now. And then this is like the second one and then like NYX and all that. So, um, you know, I haven't tried all of the liquid lipsticks out there, but these ones are really good in the formula. Next, so the last couple items I have for my haul is going to be three pairs of shoes. Actually, one set of heels, one set of sandals, and one set of shoes. So these ones are from Express and they look like that. So they're just cute little wedges, not too dramatic. I really liked them. I really like this detail 
and I like black of course because you know black goes with anything and the zippers on the back and all that um, my mistake was that I wore these one day when we went to the mall me and my boyfriend and the mall is pretty big and let me tell you I did not make it for like probably like the first 10 minutes we were there I was dying these are really comfortable but this is super flat so when you hit the floor it just kind of like after you hit it so many times and you're walking so much it just kind of starts hurting your feet and I haven't you know I used to wear heels a lot more often than I do now I don't wear them as often now and so I feel like I have to get used to it again but for me it was so terrible like my legs were literally killing and I, I just don't even like oh! so I basically just wiped this stuff on my jeans my black jeans so anyways um yeah future reference don't wear high heels to the mall unless you're really comfortable in heels you know but not so much for me the next pair i want to show you guys is these shoes and i love these shoes i was dying to get these for the longest time but every time we went to the store they never had my fucking size which is a seven so um i finally had to order them i didn't want to order them because i hate waiting for things i'm so impatient but I ended up ordering them and this is the Nike Air Max Thea in white which they look so nice and they go with anything you can dress them down you can dress them up so really like these and they are super comfortable and of course they look really nice when they're put on so the next set is actually a funny story because like I said that day I wore those heels I took them off as soon as we like got outside to the parking lot and we were leaving um, and we were going to go to eat still. So I told my boyfriend, I was like, I have to get some sandals or something, some flats. Because I cannot walk in those, like, one step more. So we ended up going to Target. I didn't get off the car just because I could not walk in there. And I was not going to walk in there barefoot. So he went in there. He FaceTimed me and showed me all the options they had in Target. And I just wanted something simple. And he got me these sandals. And I thought they were super cute. Um, they have these little sequins here, and then they're tanned, tan beige colored, and then of course they have like the two straps right here, and you can make them like looser or tighter, and they're comfortable, but not like super comfortable, but they were still better than my heels, so I definitely like these, and I mean, especially for summer, perfect. So moving on to my favorites of March, I'm going to try and do this as fast as I can because I have 7% on my camera and I feel like it's going to die any minute now. So first off favorite, I already talked, I already mentioned this earlier, of course the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick. I haven't tried the foundation itself, I've only tried this. And like honestly, I've tried different foundations, obviously I want to try a lot more. But from all of the foundations that I have ever used, I think this is one of the best foundations. It gives you a flawless fill it finish, and when you're blending it, it just blends out so smooth. It's like almost like kind of like a cream, and it just blends perfectly. So even if you're using a brush or a beauty blender or even your hands, I feel like it would just leave a flawless finish. So if you guys haven't tried this, please do. I promise you, you won't regret it. Um, a second favorite of the month is going to be this Sexy Little Things Noir um, perfume by Victoria's Secret. I got the smaller one. Um, it just smells like, I don't know, like just sexy. That's not like a scent, but it just smells super sexy. And if you guys have tried this out or you've smelled this when you go into Victoria's Secret, this seriously once you put it on and I love how long these last because I feel like some perfumes after a while the scent just wears off and you don't even smell it anymore but even though if this one wears off you can still smell it in your clothes and it's just it smells amazing the next favorite is gonna be the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel um, for the longest time I had such a hard time trying to find a product for my flyaways especially on this eyebrow like my hairs tend to come down and like I just want them to stay in place and I used to use the MAC one but that one really didn't really work that well um, and then I was like you know what let me try this one and they have like the colored ones like all of the um, dip brows and like the um, brow waves like they have all of the colors for that but I felt like I just wanted to try the clear one and this is the best thing ever this seriously keeps my brows in place all day long they don't move anywhere 
And the thing that I hated about like gels for your brows is that they always left your brow hair really like thick, like, or not thick, really stiff. Like as if you put like gel in your hair and you feel that stiffness. I felt like that's how it felt with um, brow gel. So I, I wasn't a fan of that. And with this one, it doesn't do that. So I really like that. The next one is going to be the a Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. It looks like this. And the reason I got this is because of Makeup Shayla, if you guys follow her. Hey! But anyways, um, I love this one. She always uses it. She always raves about it. And she uses this for her bottom lashes, and I feel like they just make them so much bigger. And they really do. This makes such a difference with my bottom lashes. But even your top ones, like, it just really extends them out and coats them evenly. So if you're looking for a mascara or you want a mascara that, you know, isn't going to clump them up or, you know, you know, you want them to look a lot longer, I recommend using this one. Next favorite of the month is going to be my Victoria's Secret bra. Now, I was really confused because I wasn't sure if this was, like, a sports bra or just, like, a regular bra, kind of like a sports bra looking type bra. You guys, I, I really didn't know. So I got it anyways. I use it to work out um, regardless if it's not a sports bra, but it's really comfortable. You know, my boobs stay in place. They don't jiggle everywhere. And it's just super pretty. Has a little strap on the bottom. It says pink. And then the little kind of cheetah detail. But like I said, they're super comfortable, especially for working out. I wear it on just like a regular basis as well whenever I'm running errands and stuff, and I feel like it's not even on my boobs, but, you know. Next favorite of the month, and I think this may be the last thing. It is. It is this baby right here, and this is Woman's Best Whey Protein. Um, I work out on a daily basis. I work out every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I tend to do um, leg and butt, abs and arms and back, so... And I know some of you are probably like, why the fuck do you work out? You're so skinny. And let me just begin to tell you that I hear people tell me all the time, Marissa, why do you work out? Marissa, you're so skinny. Marissa, you're going to be in thin air if you keep working out. Marissa, you're going to hurt. I get it. I'm skinny. I fucking get it. I feel like a lot of people misunderstand what working out is. So for me, working out isn't just for people that want to lose weight. It's for people that want to stay fit, that want to be healthy, that want to have energy throughout the day. I always see like grandmas walking in the morning, running, whatever. And it's not because they want to lose weight, but simply just because they want to stay healthy and have energy. So for me, it's not such a big thing of losing weight. And I feel like people always like think that's exactly what I'm trying to do is lose weight. And it's like, no, it's not because that's not the only thing you're doing when you're working out. You're gaining muscle, you know, you're toning your body. So don't come at me. Don't come at me with that. Okay. So the reason that I like this is because it has so many good things in it. It has um, iron, zinc, vitamin A, copper, B, vitamin B12, um, biotin, which is really good for your hair, nails, um, skin. So that's a plus. Um, it is GMO free. It's gluten free. It's vegetarian. It's all of that good stuff. And the reason that I like this is because after a workout, um, it really helps repair my muscles. Uh, you know. And the reason why I like this is because, you know, protein is supposed to help you repair and, of course, help your muscles grow. And I feel like it does that. You know, I've only been in this routine for about three to four weeks, but I've really been seeing small little changes in my body. But I definitely feel like this has a lot to do with it. Um, and it definitely helps with... Um, and I do want to try the Slim Blunt Slender, Slim Slender, Slim Shake that they have, which is to keep you slim and to help you lose weight. But like I said... God forbid I say that, some of you are going to come attacking me. And they also have, they have a ton of products on their website. If you guys want to check them out, I'll leave their um, link on the description box. Um, and I definitely want to try out a lot more products of theirs. They also have a new line of like hair vitamins and for your skin and all that. So definitely check them out if you know if you uh, work out and all that. 
And I think that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Um, if you guys want to leave a comment below, tell me if you guys have tried any of these products or you want to try any of these products that I talked about. Um, if you have any questions on anything. And of course, like always, like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have so many more videos coming in and I'm so excited to share with you guys. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say, but I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.